Hey everybody, in today's video I want to give an update on the GPT Store revenue model. If you remember back on January 10th of this year, about three months ago, uh, OpenAI announced that uh, GPT builders can earn uh, based on GPT usage and they said in quarter one we will launch a GPT revenue builder program well guess what quarter one ended a few days ago and yeah there is no GPT builder revenue program in place yet that I have seen now, that being said, the company did announce on March 27th, interestingly enough, just a few days before quarter one ended, that they were partnering with a small group of U.S. builders, GPT builders, that is, to test usage-based GPT earnings. Our goal is to create a vibrant ecosystem where builders are rewarded for their creativity and impact, and we look forward to collaborating with builders on the best approach to get there. So clearly, this is uh, still going to be a ways away for you GPT builders if uh, that's something you're hanging your hat on to start earning money in quarter one well that did not happen maybe we get to it in quarter two i don't know it's probably going to be something later on this year that would be my guess um otherwise we're all just in a state of limbo as far as when these uh, when this uh, gpt revenue model will be in place now, speaking of that, they did again confirm that the revenue model will be based on usage of your GPT. So if I click on um, one of these GPTs here, let's say super describe. Um, so I guess this is 400,000 conversions. So based on that, you would get some sort of revenue from that. I don't know. Um, there's not a lot of details as to how that would work. If uh, if you as a user could use your own GPT and that would count toward the number or um, if you programmed a bot to keep hitting your GPT, would you earn revenue from those bots? So there's still a lot to be uh, determined, a lot to be announced. We don't have much information as of now on what uh, what it all means as far as the future um, but they are at least working on it they are entering a test period with a group of users so hopefully sometime soon this will happen now how much could somebody earn from your gpt uh yeah i just don't think it's going to be a lot because um you know again it, it comes down to you can't use a gpt unless you're subscribed to gpt plus which i don't think um you know a few hundred thousand subscribers are not going to uh are not going to add up to too much on your end especially looking at the gpts just in general there's just not a lot of value in in many of them um you know it, it just it honestly just feels like they are that is open ai is just using this gpt store to harvest the uh, data for you know future chat gpts you know gpt5 gpt6 whatever it is that feels like this is a good way for them to just uh find more data and uh to uh improve their ai model which, of course, I absolutely 100% don't blame them for doing. Why not? Why wouldn't you do it that way? And if you could throw a few bucks uh, into the GPT store for the GPT builders, great. If not, that's okay, too. Um, you know, one of the things I have seen is the momentum in just GPTs overall seems to have slowed down if you remember in november there was a great rush to build all these gpts 
well i don't think people are building as many gpts anymore especially now that there just isn't any revenue model in place i think once the revenue model is announced and open to everybody you're going to see a second uh, rush to get those gpts up and running but right now we're kind of in a lull waiting for something to happen and you can see here on the uh, GPT forum, some of the developers are not pleased that indeed, uh, you know, here's the same concerns. I have not heard details on the revenue sharing. And again, does GPT, does OpenAI keep its promises? So there is some consternation amongst the developers that, uh, you know, this has not been done. Testing does not equal launching and um, you know, the GPT store, it's a work in progress. I don't fault uh, OpenAI for not coming out with the uh, with the uh, revenue share model uh, this first quarter. Now, just a few months ago, OpenAI uh, announced its uh, groundbreaking, or at least I think it's groundbreaking technology, Sora. Now it is still closed to the public. It's uh, just opened up for a select uh, group of developers um to play around with as they fine-tune the model um you know 2024 is an interesting year because it is an election year so this kind of technology can be used um, and will be used or you know the other com comparable technologies will be used to create uh, you know political deep fakes and uh you know we're just going to see a lot of that so i think as far as open AI goes, that, that's got to be in the back of their minds. Like, how do we prevent this or mitigate this or um, deal with it? So that's something just to keep in mind. With As we get closer to November, um, will these AI companies be so willing to release um, these kind of technologies? But yeah, just back to the GPT store. Let's just hope, um, you know, we I think we all want this thing to succeed. I think we're now kind of realizing this is not going to be like the App Store or the um, Google Play Store where, you know, you, you can make a windfall of money. You can make a flappy bird or something like that. This is going to be something completely different. Um, you know the barrier to entry is so low just twenty dollars a month and there's not much um, not much in the way of programming so um, yeah so we're just gonna have to wait and see what uh, OpenAI does uh, let's hope it uh, all works out and uh, maybe in the next video I'll have a full announcement of the <laughs> GPT revenue model so that's it for this video I hope you enjoyed it if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more AI content. Thanks for watching. See you next time.